welcome. It's a little bit like the night before Christmas here at my place. Um, tomorrow morning, early, I set off for yet another wall-to-wall -wall police remembrance ride. Um, I've participated in this ride for about the last, I think, 11-ish years. It's, um, it's an annual event that uh, was started in New South Wales, uh, born over a couple of blokes just having one or two beers in the evening. Um, and they've decided to uh, put together a ride going from the local police remembrance wall down to the Canberra one. And, and from a handful of blokes, that's grown into a, a massive ride every year. It's just out of control with the uh, participants wanting to join in. I think by the time we get to Canberra for the uh, ceremonial ride, which is next or Saturday coming up, um, did it we had about six riders six or ten riders that have done and now that's grown up into a bit over the sort of hundred number plus a couple of support vehicles apparently for when Harleys break down um, a couple of other bikes also do it every now and again um, but anyway I've uh, going again this year I'm going to record it every day and, and make up a series uh, of videos by you know when I get back by the end of it showing just what goes on uh, it's one of the rides I really cherish and look forward to. We raise money for the Legacy um, Group, and the Legacy Group is one that obviously honours the family of those police officers that are killed in line of duty. That's what the Wall to Wall is all about, is remembering those who have had to sacrifice their lives for protecting their community. Um, and it also stretches over into looking after our mates that sometimes don't always travel too well. Um, the suicide rate is pretty high amongst police officers. Um, so everybody has their ups and downs. So not only we, uh, do we ride to honour those that have been taken from us, but we ride to support each other. And, and you know, as we all know, while you're riding, your head clears out of all the other shit. So that being said, I've got the bike all ready. Um, it's all been cleaned up, spruced up, had a service. Hopefully it's all in uh, working order. I've been out this morning, run around, done the last minute bit of shopping. Um, and now I better uh, pack some clothes and get ready to go because uh, at the moment I'm going to be riding in Ugg boots and trackies I reckon the way I'm going. So get onto that. I'll uh, come back very very shortly and uh, I'll be all dressed ready to go. See you in the morning. Wow, well, magic of television hey. Ready, look at that. It's um, probably just after 6, 6.05. Um, bags are all packed, bikes all packed, I'm virtually dressed, it's uh, still pretty early in the morning, but you know, we've got a long day, not really a lot of fucking around to be honest, I'm um, going to head from here down to Largs Bay, uh, meet up with the rest of uh, what I call the Lincoln crew, all the boys and girls from Port Lincoln that are meeting up, and then from the Largs Pier Hotel we're going to just toddle on down to the police academy, um, where we'll all group together, all of the South Australian riders. They do a quick service from the South Australian um, Remembrance Wall, uh, and then we'll toddle off heading down through the southeast and ending up just in the Victoria Horsham this evening. So, best I get on the motorbike and start toddling along the way. No doubt there'll be peak hour traffic, hopefully. Might miss out, we'll see how we go. All right, see you on the road, let's see how we go.
Right, here we are at the police academy. I'll just do a run through of the bikes. So, fair array of different sorts of bikes. Definitely the cruisers are popular. Well, hey, bring it all. Handsome, how are you, mate? Hello, mate. Right. Good. Certainly grown since the first time round it was like 10 bikes so this is the actual remembrance wall that we've got here in the South Australian Police Academy each one of the uh, Touchstones is sadly a South Australian police officer that's died on duty. This is why we're riding. Everyone's just having a brekkie, we'll have a little service here and then we'll be heading off the next hour or so. So, good to get on the road. See you now. Yes, we're recorded in 1847 and the last one was 2002 and we paid our tribute last year. This wall demonstrates their commitment to duty and will not be forgotten. This ride is a reminder and reflection of those who have um, been before and are with us now. We are the front line, we work in partnerships and we've got uh, other first responders with us today and we're here about keeping the uh, community safe and at times that's a dangerous job. These rides are about remembering mates. Those that have passed before us and are still in our memories and those that are still with us but having some struggles. This ride is about having a laugh, sharing a story and a shoulder if needed. This ride also raises awareness and uh, funds for Police Legacy. Over the last 12 years we raised over $120,000 for Police Legacy. So that's not a bad effort. I'd like to uh, thank Legacy and the Police Treatment Unit for this morning's breakfast. I did see it, could smell it, didn't taste it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Along the way this ride will come and seventy thousand dollars into our community. We will uh, travel through regional areas, we'll have food, drink, fuel, accommodation, that sort of thing. So we're actually a fairly big impact on the uh, on the way through. What we don't have an impact on is our road safety ideas. So we have safe cycling and uh, promote motorcycles as a safe and nice sport. I'd like to also uh, thank all our um, support people. Not all the uh, not all the people here are related to the police. There are some friends here that uh, aren't related but have come along for the ride along the way. And there's quite a few of those. I'm not going to embarrass myself if I try and remember those people. I will make a, 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 a shout out though to Trevor and Caroline who are here somewhere, I hope. I can't hear them, I can't see them. They actually paid for our AED, our DFib in the trailer this year, so they've put a massive uh, donation in, and they've got a DFib in the, in, the, uh, in the trailer. So those people with Harleys, again, when your bike stops, <laughs> you've got a chance to uh, keep you going. 
Last year also raised two thousand dollars for CFS Foundation, which is like Legacy, a foundation for the CFS volunteers who put their life on the line to put out fires that um, no one else wants to go to. I'd like to introduce um, a VLP or a couple. The two members who early this year face adversity have shown great courage and resilience. They epitomise what police do and what they stand for. As a whole, the police family rather, felt this challenge. They stood up and proudly, defiantly continued on. So that's all the police officers and also all that community around them. We are honoured to have their presence here today. I'd like to, to, to uh, invite them to come down and say good day. There's Ian and Jordan. Welcome. You're in our thoughts, our wishes, and we're glad to see you here today. Come on, forward, guys. A few words. We won't make any uh, jokes. We'll leave that to the commissioner. We've got the, the gift of the gab. Uh, guys, I'd like to say thank you to yourselves for inviting us here today. Uh, grateful to be here. Uh, we look at the wall behind us, and you know we're very grateful we're not on it. And, uh, thanks to Jordan for that, and also uh, first responders, Paul from the paramedics. Okay, you uh, you know a uh, great debt, of, great debt of gratitude acknowledge all first responders okay uh, we work closely with the, the MFS the CFS the ambulance service and we are grateful to them and we acknowledge them uh, all I will say to you guys is thank you for today and we hope you enjoy your ride okay uh, I'm, a, I'm a motorcycle rider myself I haven't got a bike anymore hopefully I'll be joining you next year but I'm trying to work out what bike to take and I think Harley is up or down down <laughs> yeah. well, guys have a great ride, thank you. We're also fortunate to acknowledge the assistance provided um, in Crystal Brook by the wider community and also throughout South Australia. Tremendous amount of support offered by uh, local paramedics, the doctors, CFS, SES community members and SAS Special Ops and Medstar staff. Med -star staff. And seemingly hundreds of uh, medical staff around that as well. We have with us today the uh, SAS members, when we come forward guys, just so we can uh, embarrass you. Special Operations members, Mark Virgin, Simon Craddock, who um, is not dressed right, but he's okay. He's a nice bloke. Uh, Pat Stevenson, and also local paramedic, Paul, Co uh, Paul Coombs, rather. So welcome, gentlemen, and thanks very much. Rubbish in his ears. <laughs> so thanks, gentlemen. Again, without these people, without our community uh, and the way we work together, that uh, just wouldn't happen. Now, there is someone important and special here, Mr. Stevens, apparently. <laughs> Please. Oh, you want to stand down or? Thanks, Ben. Can I just? No, you study. Oh. Just a few words. Um, once again, it's uh, it's it's great to be able to be here and, and see you off and. Wish you all the best for the ride. Uh, just looking at the crowd, I think you have to start doing a bit of recruiting from younger, safe old <laughs> members and friends. Uh, it's like a combination of the historical society and the retired police. So, um, the sad thing is, I know most of you and have worked with most of you, which means I'm probably no different. Um, it's uh, it's really important. Uh, the support that this ride provides uh, to Legacy. Uh, I, think, I think you all know the tremendous work that Legacy does for the police families, particularly police officers and their families at their time of need. So I just want to acknowledge uh, the significant contribution you've made over the 12 years that we've been doing this. And it's also a, an important uh, way to recognise police officers who have uh, made that ultimate sacrifice. And I'm sure you all understand the importance of that with the ride culminating at the National Wall of Remembrance on uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, Assistant Commissioner Noel Banford will be there to, to welcome you when you arrive. Not uh, not brave enough to ride his bike this year. He chose to fly over. So, Thanks, Jim. Um, uh, but that's, uh, that's uh, it's a bittersweet thing. Like the, 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 the welcoming at the National Wall of Remembrance is pretty special. I've had the privilege of being there when you arrive, but it does clash with our own uh, Police Remembrance Day here in South Australia. 
Uh, this year, uh, the deputy will be conducting the service here and I'll be going to Banrock Station, which is the location where uh, South Australia lost its first two police officers. Um, so there'll be a significant commemoration there. I also want to acknowledge Jordan and Ian as well. Um, these two blokes did a fantastic job in very difficult circumstances and uh, it's great that you're here today and um, been able to say a few words and um, I think everybody appreciates the fact that you came down to welcome or to see the riders off. I also want to acknowledge um, Brooke and Erin who were involved in an incident in Sojourner Thursday a week ago. Um, very similar circumstances where uh, uh, an offender came at them with a knife. Uh, uh, there was a significant attempt to, to kill one of those officers and the other had to take uh, pretty serious action to protect their partner. And I think it's just a reminder, you know, I think everyone was um, we expect these sorts of things in the policing family. You expect that you're going to have to go in, in front of uh, difficult circumstances. And what we saw with uh, Ian and Jordan in Crystal Brook was a stark reminder of that. And it's only just really just a few months later we're seeing the same sort of thing happening in another regional location. It just shows you the uncertainty with what we deal with. So once again, really, I think driving home the importance of uh, Police Remembrance Day, the wall-to-wall -wall ride, and the service that you have at the National Wall of Remembrance. So, I really appreciate the fact that so many people come out and do this and as Mick said it's a, a great reminder to people of um, what we do for the community and it's a great way for the community to show their support for uh, the services we provide so um, what's next Mick? Right. Uh, we have a special guest today Catherine Fisher about three weeks ago and um, this is a great opportunity to recognize uh, something exceptional that Catherine did about three weeks ago, in the middle of the night, um, Catherine heard the smoke alarm going off in her house and her nan's bedroom was on fire. Um, and she reacted immediately. Uh, she was able to take her brother Jackson, 13 year old brother Jackson, was, she got him out of the house. Uh, Jackson had cerebral palsy and used a wheelchair. She managed to get him out. And then Catherine went back in and found her sister, Shannon. Uh, who has autism and she helped Shannon out of the house as well. So I think uh, there's an incredible demonstration of bravery and it just shows you that it's not just police officers, it's not just fireys, it's not the ambos, but it's really important people like this in our community who make the community safer and protect the, the people they care about. So I just wanted to acknowledge Catherine and what a great job she did that night and I think if you could all just show your appreciation. So each year for the ride we, uh, we take the baton, which is in the front here, it's a, uh, a hollow baton. Inside that baton is a list of uh, 62 names from South Australia. Each year we have a, uh, a nominated person who carries that baton for us and goes all the way across to the wall and we lay it in the front of the wall over there if you haven't been there before. Simon, can we come forward please? So this year, Simon uh, Carpenter, is our nominated baton carrier.
look at that. We made it to Horsham. Organised chaos. Just got to find our room and then we'll be set.